<laughs> Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Get your boy, get your boy. But we're coming in with Bel Air Season 1, Episode 6, The Strength to, to smile. smile. Before we get into this, like I was on um TikTok. TikTok earlier today looking at my boy Pookie Bear 73, right? And he gave us some fun facts that I didn't even know about the show Bel Air. I didn't know that the show came about because there was a guy named Morgan Cooper who did a fan film and it caught wind, caught the eye of um, Will Smith. Wow. And here we are. Yeah. With this dynamite thing called Bel Air. And I'm yeah, like, <laughs> wow. As always, we need to plug in the shirts. Yeah, man. Power in black. Use my code Lynette, L-Y-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E, saves you 25% off of your orders. And he think he cute today because he just got his hair cut. There and we he go. gonna put on that beard Now, she day. think I'm cute because she said it. I ain't said it. All right, Mr. Beard Gang, let's get into it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> All right, y'all, this was a really good episode. It was fire. They bought the drama, man. This show is really, really, really good, man. I'm so glad this came out. Yeah, I'm so glad, I'm so glad that Morgan Cooper put that video out on social media because he did not do that. We, we would, would not have this. this show. But this episode starts off we see Will is in his feelings because he on social media and he see that his boys and fan back in... Philly is clowning him, man. Yeah, that's a bad feeling. Man. Yeah, it's a bad feeling. But Aunt Viv gave him some really good advice because she going through it because Lisa's mom was her best friend. And so she told Will that I understand that when you lose a best friend, you're going to be angry. So that's why I'm angry. So give Trey some time because he just lost his best friend. Uh, also in this episode, we see that it's time to have the silent auction for uh, Lisa's mom. And this is where a whole lot of drama started. And we were trying to figure out how in the hell. <laughs> I'm not even going to call him Reed. We're going to say Michael Ely. That's how we know him. Oh. How did Michael Ely end up at the silent auction? Looking for kids. <laughs> Before we got to there, we see that um, our Viv is struggling because a lot of people that were supposed to be helping her with this is backing out. So how do you once triple again, book yourself? Yeah. <laughs> how does a caterer triple book? So once again, she needs Hillary to bear her out. But Hillary is up on the fire because Kylo, this, this dude is getting on my nerves. <laughs> but now Hillary has a real job. Y'all yeah. wanted her to get a real paying job. She has the responsibilities and yeah. deadlines of a real paying job. And now it can't nobody handle it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't nobody handle it. <laughs> so Kylo is texting her. Like, you need to get something out. He calling her. Got to get out in 24 hours. Yeah, he's doing too much. So she caught between two things that I need to help my mama. And I still need to do my social media career. Hillary ended up coming over. She ends up helping out on Viv with the cooking. But she got this wild spread. On Viv was like, I don't know if you can pull this off in a few hours. In a couple of hours. So let's go back to Michael Ely being at the at the silent auction. Not only is he there. He's still pushing up on Aunt Viv. At her house. At her house. I said, so now you're really trying to die. So he ends up in her like art gallery. Art. Yeah. And, and looks at a painting that she wasn't ready to show to the world. She walks up on him. And then Uncle Phil walks up. And I was like, oh, shit. And I said, this is where. Here we go. Done. This is where it's ready to go down. And I said, Uncle Phil. Where's your discernment? Like Michael Minifield <laughs> said, where is your antennas? Well, well, in this case, he don't even need no sermon. You can see the, the way this man is moving around your woman. Why he is he in woman. the private quarters of your house? Tell me he got lost. He sets her up. And I'm like, come on, Aunt Bev. You see what this man is trying to do. He's mm -hmm. not trying to only get you back in the art world. He's trying to get in them drawers, too. <laughs> sure, they pull up panties. So he told her that if... The, if your painting goes for 15000 then we're going to work together. I was like, this ain't going to work. He going to end up buying the Dagon painting before she can do it. And that's exactly, exactly what he did. When Uncle Phil came into the room, you can tell he is on. Like he just don't know what. <laughs> he on to read. Later on in the episode that even Uncle Phil was talking to Jeffrey, was like, hey, I need you to check this dude out. He's Jeffrey was like, I'm on it. Yeah, say less. I got it. But this episode, I was hoping that Will was going to go and ask Jeffrey about how Rashad disappeared. But 
we still ain't got that yet. So hopefully they gon' they gonna mm, give gonna well, give that to us. He just got back. He just yeah. flew back in. You know, <laughs> too early for the questionings. You know. Yeah. This episode, Lisa is really struggling because now this, you know, because this whole event is for her mom, and she's going through it. So she wants Carlton to help her, but Carlton is still in his day gonna feel it because he don't want Will to be around her. So, at one part of the episode, we saw that Will was comforting her because this new wife that Fred done got, that we found out this episode, that she just, she, she that he got her less than a year after, after. after his wife died. But, but, oh, that's more. But we found out that with a conversation with, with the new wife and Will, that she actually met him before the wife even died. At the golf tour. I so I said, oh, Ben will already didn't like you. Mm -mm. And then you then you said that. And she coming in wanting to take center stage, acting like she wants to be there to comfort Lisa. But, but it's we, all about her. But it's all about her. So she wants to speak. And Lisa like, no. And Aunt Viv is like, hell no. <laughs> and then she going to pull rank talking about something. Well, Fred said that it would be okay if I said a few words. I then said, um, when Fred has something at <laughs> his, his house, house yeah. <laughs> then you can speak at that event. Yeah. But this one, you sit your tail down or I'm going to have you removed from out of here. I said, mm. Yeah. We got a shock of our life in this episode with Colton. So it was, Lisa was worried because it was time for them to get up to do the, the speech. And Colton was a no-show. So we'll say, I go find him. So Will goes yeah. in, and of course we see him snorting Xanax again, sweating because when Will was talking to Lisa, Lisa was saying, "I'm tired of having to walk around Carlton's emotions when I'm trying to deal with my own." My own, yeah. So when Will went up, when when Will got in the room, he was like, "Dude, I told you to stay away from Lisa," and he was like, "I was just comforting her," and I was mad, confused because everything that he took offense of wasn't what, anything yeah, what that Will said. Say? Lisa was the one who said yeah. that, and Will understood what she was talking yeah. about. But the thing about Carlton that gets on my nerves is he so wants Will out of the way so that Lisa's emotions don't get all over the place or it get cl right. um, clouded up. But you are the one that clouds her emotions. Yep. Mm -hmm. So and, and to turn him to turn him around in this situation, Will had to say, "You say you love her, but you up here getting bucked up when you supposed to when she needs you." And then Carlton broke down crying. He in the fetal position and Will hugging him. I was like. He was like, I got you, Carlton. I like, got you. This is I different. Said, <laughs> I was wondering. I said, is this going to be the time where we get a major confession about what his anxiety yeah. really stems yeah. from? And we didn't get it. I was kind of disappointed because I felt like that would have been a, such a powerful moment. Because even my heart like got a little tender at that moment. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, because. Will even told him, say, you need to get a control of yourself. You always getting bucked up. Yeah. Get your skit together. And I'm like, what is it? Yeah. And they kind of left us hanging with it. So we know the writing on this is impeccable. So we know we about to get it at some point. And actually, this episode, we, we, I actually thought um, Uncle Phil knew exactly what Jeffrey was doing. Because when Carlton snapped out of it, uh, Uncle Phil was at the end of the bid. And he was like... Dad, <laughs> what are you doing here? So he was getting ready to confess until Uncle Phil was like, you know, I understand how hard this is for you with Lisa. And, you know, everything's going to be cool. Yeah. Mr. Fred, we found in this episode that he done went behind Uncle Phil's back. And now he's running against Uncle Phil as district attorney. But it all started from when Uncle Phil got noticed that he got dropped from time. So that's when Jeffrey started doing his CIA skit <laughs> to find out what's going on. And that's when he found out that it was Fred. That Fred is running against him. Fred is doing all this out of revenge. Out of spite. Yeah. Out of spite. So now, like I said earlier, Uncle Phil got I got Jeffrey got an eyes on Fred. <laughs> and <Aunt> well. Reed. <laughs> and Reed. <laughs> With that nice um, coat on. I said, look at him. <laughs> I hate to say it, but it's nice. Child murderer. So speaking of Reed, Micah Ely, once Aunt Viv painting went for more, because Uncle Phil bought it, um, and she had to hold up to her end of the deal, she quoted these words that kind of came from out of nowhere for me to Micah Ely. And she was like, um, yeah, I got to be a woman of my word um, for better or for worse. 
So we're going to be working together. And I said, wait, God, like, those are marriage vows, man. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did y'all used to have a thing? Like, were y'all engaged? And it didn't happen. Where did that come from? Yeah, cause it's something. It's something there. You don't just use yeah. that. Yeah. I, I, we've been married twenty some years, and we've probably said it ten times. Yeah. Why did she say it this one time? We, just, we just live better for. We worse. just live better for worse. <laughs> and Lord, they, them them first five years we were broke as hell. They were worse. Uh -huh. <laughs> they were worse. Also, baby, I felt so sorry for Ashley this Me episode, too. and she wants to tell this tell the little girl that I like, I, you. I like you, but come to find out that the little girl got a thing for Will, like he got some swag, and it's like she was and you should see, open up a YouTube channel, and she was crushed. Crush. But Hillary told her was like, you know, don't feel bad. Everybody gets their heart Because at least you were brave enough to come out and say something. So we saw that because Kylo was all over oh all over Hillary about putting this stuff up. So she decided to put on her Playboy outfit and said, we getting ready to take this cooking to a whole nother level. I said, what is and this? the whole time the queen was like, uh, uh, your the daddy, daddy is, running for, is running for a district attorney. And, uh, and you're doing pastries after dark. But however, I think this thing that Hillary is doing to get more, to trigger the algorithm, is going to be something like your daughter out here in lingerie <laughs> on YouTube. Which at the end of the day. It don't have nothing to do with it. it. Right. Yeah. Grown adult. Right. That's her own life. She ain't selling no way. And even if she was, that's her prerogative. Yep. As long mm -hmm. as she filed her taxes, her little 1099, <laughs> yeah. and do what she need to do. <laughs> Why the buck you care? But also, I'm loving the growth of Will. Will is really yeah. growing. It's like that. He still got his Philly swag, but he's really growing up. And like, even through the episode, it, at the end, he kissed Lisa and we was pissed off because you know that's going to trigger Carlton. But maybe but he told, not, though. But he told Lisa was like, you know what? I really want to be with you, but I don't want to create a whole lot of more drama in your life, so I'm going to fall back. And she said, that ain't what I want. <laughs> that ain't what I want at all. And that ain't what he want. <laughs> even though he's still hurt by what Trey did, he is accepting this new life. And it made me think that a lot, a lot of us always want to stay in our comfort zone. It feels, you know, it's comfortable to be, but life is born in your comfort zone. Yeah, it is. So I'm, I'm so glad that Will is taking this step to be out of his comfort zone, and if, and he's blending right in. Like, right. Everybody loves him. They love this new. He's like a breath of fresh air yeah, for a is. lot of them. Yeah. Like they're so used to being so cookie cutter, and everyone around them are the same. You know. Right. We all speak the same. Good morning. How yep. are you? You're doing all right, Bob. <laughs> Great. Nice painting. Oh yeah. And yeah. he coming at yo. What's going on? Yeah. You good? Yeah. You look good. <laughs> you need stuff like that, man. Because I, I promise you. A life with the same type of energy is a boring motherfucking life. Yeah, it is. And then when you step out your comfort zone, expect for people to talk skit. And they but, always do. They'll never but, fool you. But let them talk. Let them talk. But yeah. now we still, we waiting. Because we want to know what happened between Aunt Vi and Aunt Viv. Yeah. That part. Because cause Uncle Phil shut that conversation down real quick. Yeah, he did. We're going to get to it, though. <laughs> yeah. I know it's going to come up. Because why was Lisa's mom on Vin's best friend instead of her real sister? Something about this dad. Something about mm. Will's dad. <laughs> we going to get to it. Yeah. Yeah, man. That that was the episode. Once again, it was a really good episode. Y'all get was. down in the comments and let us know what you think about the episode. Absolutely. But if you are new here... You might want to go back and check out the playlist and catch up. And while you're at it, just go ahead and subscribe. You like yeah, what you hear? Go ahead and like the video, thumbs it up. And we will see you in the next video. Straight from VA. The dirty, dirty South. To up, to down. Holla.